let's use CMake because screw make files. Am I right? Make files are annoying and are tedious to work with. So we're gonna switch to make, uh, CMake, which is a build system which we'll be using. I'm gonna stop with the next video, not this video, but the next video, which is going to be on OpenGL because I think that's just going to be the introduction to SDL tutorial series and then I will create a separate tutorial series for a simple game that we'll make with um, whatever we've learned from SDL so I might make like a small engine and, and stuff so yeah stay tuned for that let me just open this in code dot and see what's going on here oh my gosh it's a <laughs> it's an it's it's a sublime text project well screw that all right all right let's see there's a debug and a release i don't need these libs okay there's a game uh let me just try to run that let me cd bin debug and then dot slash game let's see what's going on here absolutely nothing okay image cannot load all right whatever um let's go ahead and start with cmake so i'm gonna delete a few things that i don't need like these these lib as a dl dot shared uh shared binaries i don't need these anymore uh because we're using cmake so yeah i don't need these object files either so i can delete those and i will just delete the bin folder and i will actually i will just open this and put this in res and i will just delete D gfx because we don't need that anymore <laughs> All right, and then I'll grab include and put it into source. So we just totally <laughs> uh, killed everything. Like everything is now a little, little more nicer. Not gonna lie. Um, so yeah. And instead of calling the source, I'm gonna rename this and call it game. And in game, we'll have include. All right, good, great. Now main, I will take out here and move it here so it'll be outside all right great now let's go ahead and create cmake now if you don't have cmake installed on your system you can go sudo apt install cmake if you're on uh ubuntu if you're not on ubuntu and you're on windows like a loser you can go to cmake.org and uh, you can download the binaries here. Go into the download play page. Scroll down here. You get all the freaking binary shit and all that. And you can have fun. If you're a weirdo, you can do the same with Linux as well. So, yeah. Also, all the code will be in the description. Uh, here. Right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and do CMake now. So, in your directory if you have done everything as i've done that's good you're gonna make a cmake lists.txt file make sure the capitals are all there so the c should be capital letter m should be a capital letter and the l should be a capital letter this is basically where we'll create our cmake list or cmake commands that cmake will execute to create our make file um the good thing about CMake is that you can basically, if you're working with like a team on your game and each person uh, is using like a different operating system, like for example, you're using Windows, your friend or your teammate is using Mac OS, and the other guy is using, some other guy is using Windows. So, I mean, Linux. So, if you're using CMake, you can just put it all into one code base and put it on GitHub with the CMake build system. And everyone can just clone that repository or pull that repository and they can just run it and nothing will go wrong. Um, CMake is used in a lot of projects such as Raylib which is like a powerful game 
uh, framework tool which you can make games with. Um, all right, let's go ahead and make the CMake lists or CMake commands. So first, we need to specify to CMake a minimum required. So the minimum required is like the which version we want to use, and I'm using 3.2.1. If you don't know what your minimum required is, you can just go cmake dash v. Uh, I think it's dash dash version. There we go, and you'll see your version right there, and you can just put it right there. Next, you can give it a project name. So you're gonna in, you know, you're gonna have to name your project, right? So I'm just gonna call this SDL tutorial. All right because this is an SDL tutorial. Well, it's not really an SDL tutorial, it's a CMake, but whatever. This is based on SDL anyways. So that's our project name. Next, we want to add our executables, or add our source files to convert them into, well, not really convert them yet, but, you know, add them into our make file. So we would use add underscore executable, and we would specify our name of the project and the files. So I have a few files here in the game folder, so I will specify those. So I, I actually like to do this, you know, uh, put them like that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Just don't make or add extra spaces or tabs. It doesn't really like that. All right, so you're going to add your files. So, so game slash include slash game dot HPP, right? and then game slash game dot cpp and then we forgot to add the main dot cpp which is right here in the in the workspace directory so we don't need to add um all right cool so now we've added everything into our uh cmake stuff now we're not in we're not uh linking sdl yet but if i were to run this which i will right now you're right here so the command to run this is cmake dash dash build and if you are um what am never mind <laughs> let me so there are some extensions in vs code that's what i was trying to say so if you go to extensions you can see there are a few uh it looks like cmake here and it gives you autocomplete. It, it it does cool stuff like um, there's CMake tools, which is good. Uh, like you can, whenever you open up a CMake project, you can configure it in VS Code so that whenever you save a CPP file, it automatically compiles. Well, it compiles the make file, and then you you don't have to like always run the CMake build command you can just go make and then run the executable which is much faster so what I'll do is I will do that so I would just reload the window which is good you can go control R or control shift P and search for reload window you can see here um, it's looking for a compiler which I will give my GC Linux and it's configuring my project and yeah great if you are using other build systems like i have unix make files as well as ninja which is another build system uh for <laughs> c plus plus and c you can go to your settings search for cmake and here um let me search it's like somewhere yeah here we go so the generator so the generator you can just specify here uh, I specified Unix make files because I also use ninja for some projects uh, and yeah alright so it's configured and you can see here there's a build folder um, this build folder is created by CMake so you can delete this you just have to recompile your CMake uh, or rerun the build system um, and you'll get this again, so it doesn't really matter, but um, I wouldn't really do that. I mean if you mess up you can but I wouldn't do it all the time because it's quite annoying. Oh my god <laughs> So in here you can see there's a make file and if we go through this 
it's quite big actually it's like 200 lines long but what well, all it's doing is is just uh doing whatever we specified here we're setting the project to sdl underscore tutorial you know and then adding all the executables and stuff and it's doing all that like usually you would have to do all this if you weren't using cmake and it's not really that reliable so i wouldn't do this so cmake does makes it really easy a cool thing about cmake is that you can add different uh, sub directories so I can create another cmake lists.txt here and I can add all of these as a game and I can just add them into a library and I can include them into this cmake lists.txt I'll not do this in this project because it's not really that big but I'll do it in like the game tutorial series because it's really important for us to restructure our code because we might need an engine folder which will have all the engine related stuff and that will probably need its own CMake stuff and yeah and also if you were going to do that you would never want to do this this is not a good way because uh, you will have trouble in the future so what you would actually do is you would just go dollar sign and two curly braces and you would go project underscore name these are cmake um constants which basically all this means is it just takes this project name that we have specified here and it just puts it here the benefit of this is that we can indirectly access this in any other cmake list file other than the main one all right so let's actually go ahead and run this so um let me cd into build and here we will have the make file so i can just go make and you will see here there are some you know errors because i need to refactor some code to work with cmake so let's go into game.cp this is giving me an error it shouldn't be these angle brackets it should just be parentheses save that and we should have no error actually no it's include uh, slash game.hpp there we go uh, now we shouldn't have any errors and everything should work all right let's remake run make again and uh, that's weird oh it's just uh didn't <laughs> didn't configure so let me just go ahead and run there's this little tab here for cmake it'll probably come up here but you can just put it on here and this there's a button called build all projects you can build it again you'll see where is this from oh it's from main okay i'm sorry that was, that was game slash include slash yeah it's quite big but there are it's it's i mean we'll we'll fix this later on we'll fix this later on it's quite big but it's, it gets the job done right let's see why am i still getting an error include game.hpp i'm doing it right right hold on let me just recompile and i should probably yeah oh huh right all right it worked it worked now you're seeing the sdl stuff like you know that sdl is not linked right now so we need to link sdl like right now so let's go ahead and do that so into your cmake lists file you will go ahead and say target link libraries and then you would provide your project name and then here you would add your you know libraries so we are using sdl2 and sdl2 underscore image now for some uh for some operating systems you would take the two out uh even if you're using sdl2 you would just take the two out uh i think it's like that for some linux operating systems i'm not really sure my friend told me that but um if you get an error you would just take out the two but most cases it's just sdl2 underscore image anyway so that's how you would add sdl um, this is specifically for SDL, like if you were working with OpenGL, 
Um, you would do the same for GLFW and GL, which is OpenGL, but for GLM, which is a mathematics library for OpenGL, you wouldn't need to do that. So whatever project or whatever libraries you're working with, I would look into the code or how they are including the projects into their, I mean, how they're including the libraries into their projects, because that is very important. All right, so that's nice. I will recompile here. That'll run 100% done. I will go make, and you'll see that it created a build target called SDL underscore tutorial, and I will run that, so SDL underscore tutorial, and um, there we go. Now there's one issue with our last tutorial is that it could not find the file from path res gfx logo underscore lg dot png and it's giving us an error so what we'll do is actually res this is the photo this is the picture cute little froggo what we'll do is it's just how we're including it i don't really know where we're drawing it i think i think it's just in the main.cpp let me see it's been a while yeah so we're just loading the texture here now the thing about that the thing about CMake is that the executable is in the build folder. So from the executable, we have to take this as the main path. Um, so you will have to go out of this directory into the res folder and then grab this. So you can go dot dot slash, which means getting out of the build folder and going into the res. So this is the this is where as uh, CMake looks starts for looking for files and stuff um you can just move this into the build folder but if you delete the build folder it won't work so i would just do this it doesn't really matter um so let me make and run now you will see okay what the hell all right there's no gfx folder i deleted the gfx folder that's right okay good remake make this again and run this again and i'll see my frog go all right great cool now you're seeing that we're doing make and then running this and then we'll have to simultaneously you know uh, do that and it's quite annoying so what i will do is i'll create a run.sh or if you're on windows run.bat um if you're on mac you can also do the same and then you'll you can run this so cd into build cmake dot and then make and then you would run sdl tutorial and then um after that you would cd dot dot so what we're just saying is whenever we run this run sh we would cd into the build folder and then we would run cmake dot which would just configure the project uh and then make so convert all the code or use a make file and convert it we create a binary and then run that binary and then once we close it or whatever we cd back to here so <laughs> let me just try this sh run oh i'm, I'm here sh run dot sh and that'll work for me like a charm i can just run this now if you're <laughs> cooler than me you can use ch mod and you can just say ron.sh and it'll work, it's the same thing. But that's how you would use uh, CMake for your project. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll do OpenGL. So we will do SDL plus OpenGL and maybe draw like a triangle on the screen with OpenGL and stuff like that.